welcome back everybody. Let's start today with image view. So we've gone through list view, the zoning, all of that. The benefit of this app and this feature is you can literally upload an image to the app, drag and drop your zones onto the screen, get the status feedback and control the lights that way. It's the best user experience hand down of any app. Yes. It's, it's fantastic. It's where your customer is going to want to live. I mean, when you set up the system, you're probably going to want to set it up in list view. And then once you get that all set up, you're going to switch over to image view and, and control it that way every that's time. Where you're yep. Live, so. yep. So let's walk through the steps of doing this. So as you can see here on my screen, we have list view pulled up. So to change that, you would go to the menu bar, click on app settings. And for under lights and zones, we're going to go and select image view and just hit save. Okay, now it brings you up a blank screen where you have an option to take a photo. So at this point, you can take a photograph of the property. So we'll just select that in the middle. Now you can also choose from your uh, list of, uh, uh, of saved photos on your, in your photo mm -hmm. library. Mm -hmm. In this case, we're just gonna take a photo. So I actually find it easier just because of scaling purposes. If you upload an existing photo, you're gonna find that you're gonna have to upload it, see how it fits, crop it maybe a little bit. So I find it easier just to take a photo at that of, time of the phone so yep. you, the size is correct and everything's ready to go. Yep. So as you see here now, um, and it sometimes takes a minute for the photo to upload. So this is now uploaded onto onto our screen. Okay. So the reason it takes a minute to upload is the photo is actually going to our server. And the reason it's going to our server is, is that if I'm a user of this system, that photo is also going to show up on my screen if I switch to image view. So all the users of the system will have that photo on their screen. Yeah. So let's uh, let's go through the steps of, of dragging and dropping the zone. So if you'll see the little hamburger menu at the top left hand corner, we'll select that and select place existing light and zone. So we've already obviously gone through and named our zones already, right? So we're going to go through and, and bring down zone one or light one. So select that and hit next. At this point, you can drag and drop anywhere on the property or anywhere on the picture where this fixture or zone is located. Select done. And you're gonna do the same for lights two and three. Now, as he's adding them, let's say if you had two lights in the same zone, you would hit the plus sign in the upper right-hand corner, add another light, and then there would be two number twos, and then you'd place them on both lights and that way you know that both lights are zone two. Yes. So we'll do that here. Let's let's bring in zone three. Okay, so I've moved that onto the correct fixture. Now I'll hit this plus sign and you can see another light three has, has popped up. So if that were anywhere else on the property, we could drag and drop right there and you can do as many as you want. Mm -hmm. I don't need that light now, obviously. So I'm gonna hit the little trash can and, and um, delete that. I'm gonna hit done. And now you can see I've placed all three of these lights. Now you notice they're in a black shade, right? This is actually gonna give you status feedback. So if I turned all these lights on, you can see they came on 2700K. It recognizes that in the status feedback. I'm just gonna change everything to red real quick. Very nice. Super nice, great experience. The status feedback kind of shows you how the property is set up. And it's it's a it's a fantastic user experience. Our engineers just did a great job on this. So um, it's it's where really your customers is going to live. And honestly, when you go out and and demo a system or or anything like that, this is this is the feature that that really is a huge differentiator on the app side. It sure we is. Have lots of differentiators on the technology and lighting side. The app side, that's that's a, just a huge a huge. <laughs> We get a lot of complaints about other apps and color wheels and things like that. And and this is just, the, the user experience is just fantastic. It really is. <clears throat> so um, if you notice too, right above the picture, I have all the lights and zones that gives you the option to control from that way, okay? Now, if I select any of these icons down below, you can see it moves me to light one. So now I have control of light one independently where I can do my color, I can do my brightness. I can navigate back and forth to one, two, three. If I want to get back to all lights and zones, I just select that in the picture there at the top right hand corner. Yep. Now, you're not just limited mm -hmm. to one picture. So 
Uh, you can yep. go and add another picture, as many as you want actually, and you can do the same thing. So you can do front yard, backyard, you know, anything like that. You can also pinch to zoom. Mm -hmm. um, so if you want to, if you want to zoom in to that to that light, it is, you know, you can scale the picture as well. If you have lots of lights and lots of zones on a picture, sometimes zooming is better and, and easier to select the light you want. So we're just going to do a different angle for a different picture. Just we can just name it image two. But this could be front yard, backyard, or you could have multiple angles of the same of the same location. Now the second picture does give you the opportunity to place all the zones as well. And that's because you may have your pictures may overlap. Like in this case, some of the zones are on both pictures and some of them aren't. Well, mm -hmm. I guess they are here, but but um, so you may have where one of the zones overlaps in your pictures and therefore you want to place that zone in both pictures because it's in both views. Yep. Now, <clears throat> just, just by doing this and taking this picture with the way the lights actually were on, kind of brings another note to mind that it, it's typically best to take that photo with the lights off. Yes. That way there's no confusion. Okay, now I'm going to drag and drop and I see that this light's on red. It just may be confusing at times if you're looking at the image and the actual fixture is, yeah. is on red. Yeah. So, just yeah, so we actually recommend a more of a daytime picture mm -hmm. um, yeah. when you're when you're using it for image view and then the dots will show you what the colors are of the lights. Yep. So let's go to groups and you can do the same thing with groups. So why don't you go group and add a group. I don't think we okay. have one on this location. Yep. We'll just keep it at my group. That's fine. So you'll notice on the group screen that the group abbreviation name that's what's actually going to show up in the little dot that you place on the image view. So that's what that variable is for. You can change it to whatever you want. It's limited to four characters. We started off with the first four, but if you have like light, light group one or light group two, they're all gonna they're all gonna be the same mm -hmm. group abbreviation. So you're gonna want to change that to whatever makes sense for your group. Yeah. So we're just gonna use light one and light two in this group, and you see you have control here from your list view. Now this is on list view of groups, right? So it's, you control it the same way as you would list view on the lights. Um, to get to, you have an option for image view as well for groups. So you would go to the menu bar just like we did before, app settings, and down below, scroll down, you see where it says image view under groups. Click on save. Now you'll notice the group view has the same pictures mm -hmm. as your lights view. So you don't have to retake pictures. You can. You can, uh, you know, all the pictures that you have for your lights view are also in your groups view. So now he's going to just go and place a group on the screen. So we're going to put that between lights one and two. There you go. And you're done. So that's it. It's it's really 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 easy stuff. So you'll notice that now you have group feedback if we know that every light in the group is the same is the same color. Mm -hmm. Last item for v image view is the scene image view. And in this case, this is the actual, this in, in the scene image, you actually want to take it um, after sunset or, or in the evening. If you switch to the scene pay tab, I'm going to teach Rob how to use it. <laughs> and he's going to add a scene. So just save this scene. That's fine. Um, what do we red, have? Blue. Red and blue right now? There you go. And so now the instead of just the, the, the list view with the play button, now you actually have a spot for an image. So now he can take an image and attach, attach photo. photo. And then again, you can take a photo. I think I got that in there. Again, it's uploading to the server. That takes a little bit of time. But now you can see exactly what that scene is going to do when you hit the play button. Point. Great user can experience and super, super user friendly to use. That really wraps up image view. So it's our favorite. Part it of is. The app. Yeah. It's just a great function and, and something that just came out within the last year. And it's 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 really fun. And it creates a little more interaction, you know, that the user can have with the system. It's fun taking the pictures. It's fun being able to show your friends that, hey, yeah. look, I can pull up a picture of my trees and hit this tree to turn red but or whatever. More importantly, on the on the lights page, you know, with three lights, it's easy. When you have 50 lights, naming the lights becomes difficult. Right. And in every other app, mm -hmm. you have to kind of descriptively name the lights. Mm -hmm. In this app, you really don't. You really don't care that they're called light one, two, three, four, five, six, because it doesn't matter what their name is. I can see where they're located on the page. Yep. I think that's it. Thanks, thanks for watching. Thanks. 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 Thanks.